Hey YouTube, how's it going? Welcome back to another video. So, this is day 8 of our uh, 100 player 1.5 map as Mauritania on the Axis Doctrine. So, a lot, and I mean a lot, has happened since the last episode, which was on day 4. And, as I mentioned, it's day 8. And, essentially, what we've done is so far in the game we've taken out rio de oro we've taken out algeria tunisia french sudan and now we're invading upper volta and it's going quite well so if i head on over to the diplomacy page i want to show you guys how many units I have so as you can see I have 82 units and that's pretty good I'd say at least it's decent and essentially what this is allowing me to do is to steamroll through these countries now if you take a look here French Sudan he's sorry not French Sudan Southwest Africa is kind of being a little bit of an a-hole, but he's being dealt with and let me explain how. So essentially this is what happened. Remember the big scary African alliance here? Well they split up essentially. And their biggest player, Belgian Congo, is gonna be winning us. And so yeah, Belgian Congo, he left. Okay, I don't know why the game's glitching like that, but I think it'll fix soon. But essentially, Belgian Congo, he left. And Mauritania, um, sorry, not Mauritania, Madagascar is joining us too. And he also left their alliance. Now, that leaves Southwest Africa, Tanganyika and Gabon. Well, what happened to them? Well, Gabon went inactive, so he got eaten up. Southwest Africa wanted to also join. And the other guy, Tanganyika, he got eaten up by Mauritania. Sorry, not, why do I keep on saying Mauritania? Um, Madagascar, not Mauritania. And essentially, the reason why Benchuana Land and Congo haven't joined yet is because they just left their coalition like a day ago I think or a day or two ago and they have to wait three days to join a different one now Spain he's helped me out with Algeria as you can see he's taken like half of France and you the UK wanted to join the coalition but I said no because he just doesn't seem strong enough. Now, if you take a look here, Romania is really strong. So, he basically stretches from um, the North Sea all the way to freaking Ural Mountains, essentially. So, he has a lot of land. Now, what? And he's allied with Greece, so that presents a problem. Now, the, I think the way that we're going to deal with this issue is... Okay, so if the UK joins them, then Spain will have to fight off the UK and defend against Romania. But if the UK doesn't join them then me and Spain will just go straight at it with Romania and Congo and Madagascar they'll probably just deal with Greece and then Benchuana land will play like a support role and uh, what I'm hoping is Benchuana land will head up north through Southwest Africa's lands here because it's about to invade Southwest Africa but if Benchuana land sorry not Southwest Africa, he's not going to invade Southwest Africa, I think it's Madagascar that's doing it because he, he has like quite a way for a map or something. But I'm hoping that Benchuana land goes up north here through Libya so that he can help us out 
up here and unlike Italy and such but yeah essentially we got most of Africa secure not quite all now also in terms of diplomacy there's something going on here a little pet project so as you guys saw Nigeria got himself killed in the east by Southwest Africa and uh, Tanganyika, I believe, no, it was Benchuana land. Okay, so essentially what I'm doing is I'm, so I let him uh, invade Portuguese Guinea because I still haven't taken that yet. And I've also let him invade uh, Liberia because I hadn't taken that yet, so. Yeah, he's like barely clinging on to life and Bolivia is also supporting him, but Bolivia is pretty freaking big right now. That's what she said. So, yeah, and as you can see, South West Africa is preparing, Is he's already attacked up Volta. So I'm going to try to grab as much land as, as possible. However, I don't want to lose too many troops, so I'm just trying to play smart here reinforce these troops up on this northern flank before I advance further so yeah this game is going pretty good um, essentially we've made great pro great progress so if you'd like to stay uh, tuned then please make sure to like and subscribe turn on notifications and please watch the next video thank you for watching and peace out